What's good, y'all boys and girls? It's your one and only Sauce Money B. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the right things to do to make your draft stock go up and try to become the first pick, even though you cannot be the first pick in NBA 2K21 because of the whole Hendrix Cobb storyline and being drafted on the same team as Hendrix Cobb. So Hendrix Cobb is always gonna go number one, without a doubt. It doesn't matter what you do, he's always going to be the first overall pick. But these tips right here is to help you get drafted in the first round and become the second overall pick behind Hendrix Cobbs. All right, so the first thing you guys have to do is become a five-star prospect coming out of high school, which means that you gotta win all your high school games, put up insane numbers, and don't tell me you guys cannot do it because it's on like rookie difficulty or wh whatever difficulty it is. It's super easy, so there's no excuse that you should be going crazy. I, I know Hendrix Cobbs, beating Hendrix Cobbs is like a stretch. I'm not gonna lie. He he be going crazy, but you guys can do it. I, I did it with a 60 overall. You guys can too. This also includes playing through the injury and winning. So I know it's going to be hard to play through the injury and win, but trust me, it makes your draft stock go up and it, it, it makes you a higher prospect. And I know playing through an injury is going to go on to the next game, which is the invitational game against Hendrix Cobbs. You're just going to have to try to push through it. If you guys could keep losing or whatever, just click the home button, close the application, and start the game over again. You feel me? So, uh, do what you got to do. The next thing you got to do is, you know, win your games in colleges. But um, once you run into Alex Williams, do her challenges. You feel me? So, she would want you to score, like, 20 points in, like, the first challenge. And, you know, you, you could score 20 points. You feel me? You could do that. You feel me? Go score your 20 points. And then the other challenges will be to win the games and double your scoring average or bump up your scoring average. And I'm pretty sure you can do that if you just stop passing the ball and you just, you know, keep bumping up your scoring average, making sure you win your games. And it's possible to win your games because your teammate Thompson, Thompson makes everything. Like if you need if you need to be bailed out, pass it to Thompson because Thompson is going to bail you out because this guy, he's wet behind the three point mark. Okay, so the next thing you need to do, there's going to be a scenario where uh, you and your your girlfriend have a fight. And it's going to ask you, should you just give up on her and leave college or don't give up on her and, and stay in college? So the option to pick is the second option because, you know, unfortunately, 2K wanted to simp for, for a girl that's not even bad. She's not even bad, bro. What that boy Antonio Brown said, he said, no more white girls 2020 because this, this girl tripping talking about oh uh maybe Hendrix cause better than you maybe you might like bitch what you, what you talking about bitch so off back i ain't even like her like that so the first time i did it i went with the first option because like she trash bro she probably she probably fucked Hendrix Cobbs. For all we know, she probably slept with Hendrix Cobbs. You feel me? That that's why she was on that trip and she was ghosting. She was ghosting my player. You feel me? Cause she she out here getting dicked by Hendrix Cobbs. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure she out here schlobbing the knob and the, the, the first overall pick when you go with the second option it's going to be a cussing where you go try to get her back but she's already on the move to canada and she's not coming back and y'all 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 just done and then the last thing she tell you to do is uh to make sure that you beat hendrix cobbs for her. and uh, in my head i'm like why you want me to beat hendrix cobbs for because he probably you probably slobbed on his knob and then he, he he just tossed you to the side so now you hurt and you moving to canada because you feel know I me? Mean? You know, no more white girls. Twenty twenty, especially her. She a she a thought thought. She a she a thought demon. So besides that, y'all make sure y'all beat Hendrix Cobbs in college. That would do good for your draft stock. And then later down that road, you're gonna be in the NCAA championship. So make sure you win the NCAA college championship. That's gonna do well for your draft stock as well. Okay, so next you're going to need to answer draft questions correctly. And I'm about to show you guys all the right options that you guys can go with. All right, so when you get asked, what would one of your family members tell us about you? You could either go with, I always wanted to be the best. I love to compete. Um, you can go with, I've got a big personality. Or you can go with, I lead by example. I went with, I lead by example. But don't go with, I'm easygoing. I never get too high or low. Because it's not going to do anything for your draft stock. Next, she's going to ask, how do you deal with teammates you don't like? And the one that I went with and that worked for my draft stock was, I want to work out our differences immediately. That's going to make your draft stock go up. 
I don't know about the that's never happened to me or I just play my game. I don't know what happens with those options, but for sure. I've the, the last option that says I've always been the best player on my team, so I would expect him to fall in line. That's going to hurt your draft stock. So make sure you go with I want to work out our differences immediately. After that, she's going to ask, are you the best player in this draft class? And do not go with yes, without a doubt, your, your draft stock is going to go down. Um, I haven't tried the yes, it's a mentality you have to play with. So I'm not too sure about that one. And I'm not too sure about the not yet, but let's see what happens when the combine is over. I'm not too sure what happens to your draft stock when you go with those two options. But for sure, if you want your draft stock to go up, go with the best is subjective. That's an arrogant thought process. And it's going to make your draft stock go up. The last question is going to be, what's your primary motivation for joining the league? And um, the one that you can go with that's going to help out your draft stock is all I care about is being the best in the world. That's going to make your draft stock go up. If you go with love of the game, it's not really going to do much. Um, the other ones, they don't really do anything, to be honest. They don't do anything to your draft stock. But I know the last one, the all I care about is being the best in the world. That makes your draft stock go up. Okay, so you're going to get interviews before the combine and before the private workouts. Um, for lottery picks, they have like different questions. I don't think I have any screenshots or game clips on the lottery pick question so unfortunately i can't help you there but uh for like the late first rounders or um mid first rounders and uh second rounders i got some screenshots and the answers to it so if you get a question like can you talk about your experience being here at the combine so far i think this interview is for like um a first rounder that still have to go to the combine i don't know if you're a lottery pick you you just don't go to the combine at all you just go straight to private workouts um for the team that you chose so if you do get questions like this i think the best answer is to go with it's surreal, it's exciting, overwhelming at times. It's going to make your draft stock go up, trust me. The next question, they're going to ask any critiques about your game that you don't necessarily agree with. You can go with, I know I have a lot to clean up. We all do. Basketball is an art form. That's the best answer to go with. And then the last question, they're going to ask, tell us about your goals. Um, I feel like the best one to go with is I'm here to compete and I'm here to get drafted. And I think this one is for like the second rounders. I'm not too sh And I think this one is for the second rounders or like or like really late first rounders. So it says, can you talk about your experience being here at the combine? Uh, you guys should go with dream come true. You got to pinch yourself and that's going to boost up your draft stock. And then they're going to ask you planning on making the first round could be a tall order. What's the plan of attack? Uh, do not go with my game is first round, so I just got to play because that's going to plummet your draft stock. What you do is go with stay humble and focused and it's going to boost up your draft stock. And then the last question they're going to ask you is, why should a team take a chance on you as a first rounder? Please make sure you do not go with because that's where I belong because your draft stock is going to plummet. So you have to go with, I can only control what is in front of me. That is the best answer, and it's going to make your draft stock go up. Okay, so after answering the draft questions correctly, next what you have to do is do good in the combine, obviously. Uh, try your best to do good in the combine. You know, um, They're going to test your vertical. They're going to test your lateral quickness. They're going to test your, your strength. They're going to test your speed. You know, so uh, make sure you try to do your best at the combine. If you're a lottery pick, they're going to invite you into a private workout. You get to choose which team you want to uh, work out for. Make sure you just do really well at the private workout. Make sure you win that game or whatever they wanted you to do at the private workout. OK, so last but not least, play Zion Williamson and his friend. But when you play them, make sure you win, because if you lose, your draft stock is going to go down. So make sure you beat Zion Williamson. I know. I know it's going to be tough for you guys to be Zion Williamson with like a 60 overall character, but by now you should have, you should be a 63 or 65, right? By by now. The way I defeated Zion Williamson was a lot of pick and rolls with Hendrix Cobbs, and I kept giving it to Hendrix Cobbs in the paint off of the pick and roll. So, you know, that was my strategy. It might it might work for you, so try it out. And if you lose, you know, always dashboard, close the application and start up 2K again. And that's pretty much how you become a uh, second round. And that's pretty much how you become a second overall pick in the first round 
or a lottery pick or at least being drafted in the first round like i said guys you cannot go first overall pick it's always going to be hendrix Cobbs, no matter what you do you feel me this is just the way the game was made it's just like that that's how the storyline is so if you guys really enjoyed this video please drop a like leave a comment and tell me what you guys want me to do next make sure you guys subscribe to the broovy gang make sure you guys subscribe to the broovy club um i'm thinking about merch and i'll do merch if you guys want me to do merch it was something i've been thinking about for a little minute now so let me know if you guys want me to start the merch broovy club i'm signing out broovy gang broovy.